Fans of 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days tuned in to follow the budding romance between Jeffrey Paschal and his Russian girlfriend, Faria Molina. I don't want to die. They were a popular couple until fans learned that Paschal was facing domestic assault charges. He is accused of attacking girlfriend Kristen Wilson in June of 2019. The fans off the show got together and said, we don't think that Jeffrey should be allowed to tell all because he has a history of domestic violence. And that swayed the producers and was not invited to the tell all. And we never got to hear if he chose, um, if he was still with Faria. Dropped from the season finale, the reality TV star went online and denied the allegations. I know what happened. You know, I was there. Paschal told Dominic Nadi, a radio and YouTube host, he was going to fight the charges. This is all just a ploy. This is all just a, um, an agenda to try to make me lose custody of my child. Paschal is charged with aggravated kidnapping, domestic assault, interfering with an emergency call, and vandalism. According to the arrest affidavit, Wilson said Paschal was in an intoxicated state and assaulted her at her home. Wilson told police he grabbed her by the neck and slammed her head against a wall several times and then thrown to the ground. According to the police report, Wilson was displaying typical symptoms of a concussion and she was taken to the hospital for further treatment. Police found Paschal at his home. He claimed Wilson's injuries were self-inflicted. Officers arrested Paschal and said that after he was placed in their patrol car, he tried to kick the windows out and needed to be restrained. Paschal says he rejected a plea deal and wants to go to trial to prove his innocence. And they offered me no punishment whatsoever just to have it on my record. I said, no, absolutely not. Doesn't take the deal, wants to fight it. Well, he's now fighting it, and you're able to see it right here on Court TV. Today was day one inside that courtroom. And this is a case. of uh, It's not the most complicated case. It's not going to be a long case. Um, but it's not necessarily an easy case for the jury because I believe he is going to testify uh, and, and testify to something much different uh, than his ex will be testifying to. Well, she took the stand today. She took the stand, important witness for the prosecution. Take a listen to Kristen Chapman here um, describing what she said happened to her at the hands of Jeffrey Paschal. I want to talk to you specifically about the events of, of June the 9th, 2019, okay? Do you recall that day? Yes. Now, I want to back up uh, before, before the early morning hours. What, what had the two of you all done the night before? Um, we had gone to dinner. And I'm gonna have you, maybe you'll just pull that up. Sorry. Soft spoken. <laughs> keep hitting this trash can. Um, we had gone to dinner at the North Shore Brasserie. Um, we were there for several hours. We had drinks and dinner. And um, when we left, we went back to my house. Uh, we had plans to go meet a friend um, at Rooster's which is right near my house in Rocky Hill. Um, so we stopped to let my dog out and um, I walked her by myself up the street to the cul-de-sac while he stayed at my house. Um, and I returned home. I walked back up the street. I texted my friend Katie um, and told her that we were leaving and we were we would see her shortly. Um, she was also on her way there. Um, I remember sending the text message. I remember exactly where I was standing in the street in front of my neighbor's house. And I remember walking back up the driveway. Um, but the next thing I remember, he was beating me. Uh, you said you all had dinner and drinks. What were you yes. drinking? Champagne. Do you recall how much you had to drink? I recall that I had three glasses of champagne. Who was driving that night? I drove. Okay. And um, did Mr. Paschal have anything to drink? Yes. And what do you recall what he was drinking? Double whiskey and Cokes. Okay. And so when you get back in the house, you said, um, tell us exactly what you remember as soon as you get back into the house after walking the dog. 
After coming up my driveway, the next thing I remember, I was on the floor in front of my staircase that leads to the upstairs, and he had um, me by the back of my head and was hitting my face into the floor, and I was screaming for him to stop. Okay. Um, is, that, is that all that happened? or did... No. Um, from there, he um, dragged me up the stairs. Um, it's not quite a split level, but it's, there's like four stairs that lead up to the bedroom, and it's hardwood floors, and he was dragging me by my head and by my hair. He had me um, kind of by the back of the neck, and we went um, up the stairs towards the bedrooms, and I blacked out again. I lost consciousness.